that. Rumors began to spread among the patients. Strange tales of unscheduled operations of organs removed from patients in the middle of the night. There is a kidney, they say, that grew limbs and a head. They say even now it lurks in the cellar in the darkness. Okay, Sato, time for your temperature. Sure. It's 97.7 degrees. 97.7, that's basically in order. You've already got one foot out the door, I see. Incidentally, nurse, you know those rumors? Rumors? Oh, those rumors, how the patients love to chat. Don't bother yourself over them, Sato. Tongue. Glance. Cree. The tongue. Hmm. Isn't this the basement? Quietly. Suspicious. Quietly like a cat. Director, the rumors are getting out of control. Some of the patients are so spooked they're asking to transfer to another hospital. Yes. Hmm. We're all up to speed. One month ago, we received the body of a teenage girl. She'd been stabbed to death by her boyfriend. He gladly, uh... Wait, I'm trying to figure out what order to read these in. We had been taking, we had been treating Yukiko Mio for a, a patient suffering from a severe kidney ailment. Her blood type turned out to be the same as the dead girl, which meant we could perform a transplant and none too soon. A man materialized who identified himself as a girl's father. He called her Hanako. Whoever he really was, he gladly consented to donate her kidney. So we rushed to transplant it. Meanwhile, her father vanished just as suddenly as he'd appeared. The operation was a success at first. Days later, however, the kidney became a monster within the patient's own body. Like buds from a bulb, the kidney sprouted limbs and ahead. And now, look at what we have. There's your abnormal kidney. And this abnormally developed head that penetrated the stomach. To remove it from the patient's body, we had to sever the head at the neck. But look at it. Within hours, it began regenerating from where it was cut. Absolutely unbelievable. Director, you're familiar with uh, Planera flatworms. They also regenerate when bisected. One worm will eventually become two. It's the same principle. Of course, a kidney for a kidney to regenerate in this way. I was in such a hurry to, so desperate to operate on Yukiko Mio. This was all my doing. Yukiko Mio. I think I passed her name on my way here. I could barely make them out with that whispering. What I did here, though, it sounds like the rumors are true. Ah, oh, there it is. No visitors. Hello? Kree? Tadashi? Ah, Tadashi. Sorry. Oh, I'm... Excuse me. You sounded like... Who are you? Uh, how's it going? I'm, uh, Fumito Sato from room 105. How do you do? I heard you had an operation, so I thought I'd pay a visit to cheer you up. Uh, yes... I'm not in pain anymore. Well, that's good. Want me to make some tea? Oh, I'm being rude. Let me fix some. Oh, no. Sit down. It's fine. You friends with Tadashi? Well, yeah, I was once. 
He jilted you, huh? Correct! Oh, hey, sorry, I was just... Yukiko? Goodness, Yukiko! What are you doing up? Oops. Two days ago, you came... Just only two days ago, you came out of the operation. I wish... I wouldn't wish on anyone. But it doesn't hurt anymore, really. Of course it doesn't. You're all hopped up on analgesics, as anyone in your condition would be. Just get in bed. Your wounds... If your wound tears, well, you don't want that to happen. I was that close. I wonder what he'd do if he caught me there. It's incredible, Dr. Tamara. I mean, Yukiko. Her wound is already closed. Two days on, and it's completely healed over. On top of that, I can't keep her still. There's something very strange here. Dr. Tamara, do you have an opinion? I might have something to do with the kidney. After all, it was in her for a whole month. If any tissues that from that monster remain in her body, that could be extremely dangerous. I mean, that highly regenerative cells are mingling with Yukiko's own. You could be looking at some sort of cancer. Cancer! In any case, she's due for an examination. It's odd that her wound healed, and if, she's, if she does carry cancerous material in her, material, her life could be at risk. Test revealed that the cells in the implanted kidney had, oh, sorry, test revealed that cells from the implanted kidney had spread throughout Yukiko's body. Vada tada tada tada. Forgive me, Director, but what makes you think gamma rays will do anything? Yeah, I don't know, but we've got to consider all our options. Radiotherapy can be effective against traditional cancers. Hey, Yukiko. There you are. You weren't in your room. I've been looking all. I've been looking for you all over the place. Oh, what do you want? Not much, really. I. I wish I were prettier. If I were, I might have been able to stay friends with Tadashi forever. I, I think you're already pretty darn cute. Scritch, scritch. I mean it. You're charming. Scritch, scritch. My dad's a sailor right now. He's out at sea. I can't wait for him to come back. Uh, the, yeah? Dr. Tamara! This is horrific! The radiation is out! Never again! Look! It had the opposite effect! Instead of being destroyed, it's developing faster! Dr. It, it's talking! It, yes? Dr. Will you remove me from here? A man has been watching me for a long time. He's after me. He's been watching me from that cabinet. He frightens me. Who, who are you? I am Tommy, a Dr. Tamara. Ah, uh, Doctor, you are so handsome. I love you. I fell for you the moment I saw you. So please take me out and hold me gently. Kiss me. Shut up, Doctor, let's get out! Oh. Uh, check, check. Director, to be honest, it terrifies me. I don't want to look at it anymore. I feel the same way. We should close off the basement. But Dr. Tamara, 
To find a proper treatment for Yukiko, we need that monster. Be it an anti-cancer drug or heat treatment, it must have a weakness. Without it, we won't be able to destroy the tissues lurking inside that girl's body. Well, Director, then how about you work on it on your own from here? I don't want any part of it. Dr. Tamara! With luck, tonight all will be revealed. Sure is dark. Katung! Huh? There's someone inside? Or something? Tee 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 Chack chack Ugh! Chack chack This is bad. Chack 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 clack Who's he? Tee tee it's pitch black in here. Click. Clutter two. B pardon me. I didn't know you were bathing. Ugh. Running's bad. Okay. I'm not fully healed yet. Dumb appendix. But of all places to take a bath, this creeps me out. No, I'm better off in bed. Splish. Fleep. Shoop. Plat, 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 plat. Yukiko. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Remember me? It's, it's me. Remember me? You, you, what are you doing here? What a reception. And after I was kind enough to visit, you've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say to you. As far as Tadashi is concerned, I did you a favor. Yeah, about Tadashi. You know he tried to kill me. I've had a hunch it was your idea, though. Keep away from me! <laughs> yeah! What the? Pipe down. Yeah, pipe down. <clears throat> What's the trouble? You! Step away from the girl! Yukiko, are you alright? <sighs> what did you do to her? Answer me! Tug. Huh? You, you were, the, you must be, my God, she's so beautiful. Gone? The head's gone? Yes, when I came in this morning, the culture tank was empty except for the solution. C could it be? We saw how quickly it developed before. Could it simply have walked out? Uh, maybe, but. I had a late shift here last night. Maybe I had a late shift here last night. I didn't see a thing. One day and it fully regenerated itself. One day. What an ungodly monster. You're telling me. And yet. An extremely alluring one. Oh, Doctor, what a lovely condo. Listen, until I... Return, you don't leave this room, understand? Incidentally, Director, about Yukiko Mio. Have you noticed any changes in her condition? Changes? Well, I stopped by her room this morning. I saw something unusual. Good morning, Yukiko. Good morning. You, uh... You are Yukiko, correct? You seem taller somehow. Oh, you noticed it too, Dr. Tamara? I think I am taller. I don't know why. She looked completely different. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
Also, Doctor, see here? My hair is always my hair has always been so gorgeous. Has my hair always been so gorgeous? Director, perhaps we're on the wrong track. I mean, about the effect of these Tomie cells upon Yukiko Mio. Far from sinking into the depths of a terminal incurable cancer, Miss Yukiko Mio has undergone a miracle recovery. If anything, she's healthier and prettier than before. Hey, Sato. Uh, is that Yukiko? Yeah, surprised, huh? Everyone tells me I'm like a different person. I'm astonished. Dr. Tamara, are you telling me Tomie has cured her illness? It seems that its regenerative power has a positive effect on the human body. Of course, we need to do more research. Seito, I'm really starting, I'm starting to really feel confident. Some radical changes are taking place inside me. When I was short and plain, I was a target. Everyone pushed me around. I was sick and tired. I hated my life. But, though, but no more. Things are different. This is just the start of how pretty I can get. That's good for you. You know, I had this dream for ages. I'd run and tumble through a pristine grassy meadow with my boyfriend. Like you see in movies and commercials. And in my dreams, it was always with Tadashi, but I wouldn't mind if you came along. What? Oh, well, that's all right. I'm not much good at filling other people's shoes, you know. And to be frank, I find the sudden change of attitude really disappointing. You talk as if looks were everything. Well, I'd take the frizzle-headed Yukiko any day. You! Are you telling me I'm not good enough for you anymore? Are you blind or just stupid? At best, you've got the worst taste ever. And after I was nice enough to think of you. This is impossible. I'm leaving. Hey, wait! Will you... Wait! Stuff it and quit following me. Oh, ow, ow, appendix. Ha, 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 it serves you right, creep. What is she, like, polar? Hey, listen. Really, are you, Kiko? You're acting like a different person. A different person. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the point, isn't it? I'm going to become gorgeous. Kiko, what's going on with you? Well, yesterday you were a gentle girl, quiet and kind. I've got no business with you. Just go. Tomorrow I'll be discharged from the hospital, and then I'm going to clean up and track down Tadashi. You hear that? Now there's a man in tune with beauty. Compared to him, you're not even a runner-up. You're laughable. <laughs> <laughs> but really, what's going on with me? Why am I saying such horrible things? I... This face! This face! All right. We've done our rounds for the day, so let's get started. You know, we may even change the world. This could be a turning point in the history of medicine. Ah! Tomie! What are you doing? I told you not to leave my condo. Foom. No! Creeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Where did you find this? It wasn't me. At this point, I don't have any choice but to use you for my research. Stop it. Don't, don't you see I love you? Uh-oh, what did she do now? It's a cinder. That is my plan. The doctors were supposed to study it on me. Oh well. Dr. Damara, how's the fire? I'm still in time. Shrink! Shrink! Ah! To Dr. Zamora, what are you up to? Flourish, flourish. And, and you, what are you up? Who are you? You? Hey, Doc. I'm an actor's old man. That kidney do you any good? Good, glad to hear it. Oh, wait! Next morning, three blackened bodies were covered from the basement. The director, Dr. Tamura, and a third unidentified woman. So the cursed Memor Memor the cursed Morita Hospital closed, leaving its mysterious its mysteries and its rumors buried beneath the scorched dust. As time passed, several nurses who had once worked at the hospital met unexpected mysterious deaths. Kiko Mio, what became of you? Basement, end. <laughs>